Good afternoon, clinicians in private practice. It is Joe here. What a day. Busy, 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 busy. In fact, I have only just discovered at 4.30 in the afternoon that I haven't sent my good morning message to Nicola. So, sorry, Nick. Um, but you've been really busy too and we haven't spoken to each other at all. So Facebook is being a little bit uh, unpredictable with me today. Sometimes uh, I am getting notifications, sometimes I'm not getting notifications, sometimes it's laggy, sometimes it's, well actually it's always laggy. Oh hey Priscilla, hey it's working, that is great news. Uh, earlier this afternoon, my afternoon, I was on a Facebook Live with Ernesto and we had so much trouble connecting purely because I just didn't receive the requests that he was sending because they got lost. I really do think at some times that we have real life koalas trying to swim between the west coast of the US and Sydney, Australia to communicate between you know, the world. So it just feels like it's going that slow. And I say koalas because they've got little arms so they'd only be taking little strokes. Okay, I'll stop being silly right now i wanted to um oh geez it's just been full on here today <laughs> starting with this morning when i was organizing um a third party supplier to work with a client of mine so i've got a young man who's job seeking and we want to make sure that uh, he knows how to participate in a job interview because he's got some communication challenges uh, he never looks at anyone in the eye so we want to give him an opportunity to practice and get some good feedback on it so i <laughs> i organized for everybody to turn up on a Wednesday and then I went and booked all the rooms and the resources for a Tuesday and then told everybody it was on a Tuesday and totally confused everybody because I obviously wasn't sufficiently caffeinated when I was doing that this morning. That is what happens when I've got too many awesome thoughts running through my head. I go, whoopsie, I got it all wrong. Mm. Anywho, not sure if you noticed, I have my book. Oh, that happened on Monday and I've been posting it about it a lot but it's a real book it's very very excitement book and for those of you in Australia we have discovered why it is taking so long for books to come from overseas because Australia and overseas mail are talking very well to each other so Australians what will be happening in the next week or so before I get to Hawaii is that there will be an ability for you guys to purchase directly off my website and I am quite simply physically going to be putting the books in a bag for you and sending them to you that is the quickest way for me to get a book to a person in Australia so look out for that the rest of you all over the world you have got lots of online opportunities it's taking people four or five days to get them so that's pretty cool Priscilla I hope your book is coming to you very very soon so that's all been exciting and I was speaking to Ernesto on a Facebook live about that for about 20 minutes today if you got a chance to check out that video um, I had to hold my camera like this the entire time because the way I had it set up before the call started didn't work as the call was in progress so not only did I get to speak to Ernesto and a whole heap of people who turned up my upper arms got a really good workout <laughs> yeah that's gonna be fun tomorrow hmm. so I wanted to talk to you about shame a shame subject that has come up for me this week which I wasn't aware of so a lot of us talk about uh, money shame uh, that we get concerned about how people um, judge us about making money or being wealthy or what it is perceived to be wealthy or you know buying nice things or having nice things so for me that turns up with I don't like telling people anymore about my holidays I am I feel a sense of shame that people are going to judge me because I've just come away from come back from a 10 day break where we went to the beach and it was beautiful and it was such a great downtime but I'm at work for two weeks and then I'm going to Hawaii and I have been really resisting letting people here in Australia know that that's what's going on because I actually felt ashamed about it so I'm here to say with the planning that has gone on today I look after myself by taking regular breaks away from my work I work really hard when I'm at work. I don't need to justify myself to anybody. So this year, I'm going to Hawaii. Then I'm actually going to go to Europe for four weeks. 
four weeks, people. You're, it's a long way away from Australia. Like it takes us forever to get there. So we may as well go for a long time. Uh, and then I have just confirmed that I will be back on the west coast of the USA in October. <laughs> Sophie's just held, held up a sign going, Hawaii is actually work, Joe. She, she's actually true. I am going to be working really hard when I'm there. So we've got Hawaii. I've got Europe. I'm going to be back on the West Coast. I'm going to be back in LA or around LA in October for the Therapy Reimagined Conference. So that is what's going to be happening for me this year. And I've got already plugged in the days, the weeks that I need to have a four day week. I've got plugged in some extra time off with my husband. Uh, we're celebrating our eighth wedding anniversary this year. I have a retreat that I'm going to be going on with my mentoring crew. So I hereby today declare I'm not going to be ashamed of the amount of time it looks like I spend on holidays because I actually look after myself really well. That is the whole point. That's why I created this business so that I could be in control of what was going on. But I just found it really interesting that I felt ashamed to talk about the fact that I was going to Hawaii, that I was apologizing for it. And now, God forbid, I started telling anybody that I was going to be going to Europe. But you know what? I get to go to London. I get to go and watch it. The first Ashes Test, that's cricket for anybody who's interested. It's to speak a week and spend a week in Paris. And then I'm going to be doing a cruise between Split and Dubrovnik. That is a really cool holiday. So there you go. That is me disclaiming, getting rid of, out there, no more shame about taking time away from work for looking after myself. I choose to do it by traveling. So I'm wondering if anybody's watched the video today, if there's some little secret shame that you've got that um, you know is there and it's niggling at you. I just want you to verbalize that thing and kick it to the curb. If you've got the courage, share it on this thread because I'd love for us to all support you and go, yeah, you don't have to be ashamed of that. But I know that that's a really difficult thing to do publicly. So don't you don't have to. It's There's no compulsion. But I want you to know that you can give it up, that you don't have to suffer under the weight of that anymore. It's enough. The end. Kibosh. Let's just put it to bed, shall we? All right, people. Looking forward to talking to you again tomorrow when it will be Celebration Friday. Looking forward to seeing what we'll be celebrating. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> yeah, it might have something to do with the fact the book arrived this week. Uh, very, very cool. Have a great evening, morning, afternoon, night. Looking forward to talking to you again this week. Bye.